Hi, my name's Joe Keaveney and welcome to this third video in the series called Raise Your Game. Uh, what is Raise Your Game? Raise Your Game is a video series looking at VRC. VRC is Virtual RC. It's a RC simulator simulating RC vehicles. Currently the vehicles it simulates are 8th scale IC track cars, 10th scale IC touring cars, 10th scale electric powered touring cars, 12th scale electric powered track cars and 10th scale short course truck off-road cars. Okay, so today's video then is going to be about setting your transmitter up uh, correctly in order that you can play and enjoy VRC. Uh, as you can see, my uh, transmitter is in front of me and it's the Sanwa Super Exes. So just like you guys, I use my, uh, the transmitter that I use for my model car racing, I also use it to play VRC. So uh, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to show you how I set my transmitter up to play VRC. So here's my transmitter, the Super Exes, and at the moment uh, I need to uh, I need to basically delete the old uh, model number that I've got on my transmitter because at the moment I've got um, a, a model there called HB it's for, uh, for my older hot body car, and I'm going to use this model number to uh, to play VRC with. Okay, so uh, so that's the model uh, selection screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear that model number. Okay, so now I've cleared the model number and if you notice at my model name, I've got no more uh, model, uh, model name. Now what this means is it's, it's cleared all the settings for that particular model. So all my settings for my hot body's car have now gone. Uh, that includes uh, my sub trim. So you can see my sub trim for steering and throttle is zero. Um, if you look in the, uh, the middle here, my throttle and steering uh, trims uh, are at zero also and uh, also uh, my throttle endpoint and my brake endpoints are both at 100%. Likewise my steering endpoints are both at 100%. I've turned my dual rate all the way up. Okay so basically everything's on 100% and uh, all my exponentials Okay, I've got no exponentials for either throttle or brakes or steering. Okay, so that means everything's set up as I want it to, uh, to be uh, just before I go on uh, and play VRC. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to connect uh, the receiver for my transmitter uh, up to, uh, to the dongle. I'm going to plug that in and I'm going to show you how I calibrate VRC uh, on uh, on the computer. So off to the computer we go. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the uh, to the video. Uh, so you just saw us um, changing our transmitter settings so that uh, my uh, my dual rate was at 100%, my endpoints were at 100%, and my uh, exponentials were also at 100%. So that's the uh, the transmitter set up for uh, for a new model and uh, for use on VRC. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, calibrate the transmitter. So how do I do that then? Well first I plug the receiver into the uh, USB adapter and I plug the USB adapter into uh, a, a suitable USB port on my computer. I then switch the transmitter on and then I press options. Uh, from the uh, option screen I go to control options which is on the left hand side here and you'll notice uh, selected there is my virtual RC USB uh, adapter so that's the selected controller. Okay, All I've got to do now then is to click calibrate and that will open a Windows controller dialog and, uh, and we'll go through the calibration uh, procedure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the calibration in silence and uh, if you've got any uh, issues, if you if you copy what I'm doing, you shouldn't have any issues in terms of calibrating your controller to work with VRC. So I'm just going to press calibrate.
Okay, uh, so we just finished calibration then, uh, and uh, we're really ready now to uh, to go and uh, play VRC. There's an, another couple of uh, options I'd like to uh, to tell you about uh, just before you do that. Okay, what have we got? We've got steering input here, and we've got throttle and brake input, and both of those uh, inputs have uh, options that are configurable. So what are they? We've got steering exponential. Now steering exponential is a measure of how sensitive the stick or wheel is around the center point. So as you turn your stick or wheel to make your car go left or right, around the center point, okay, around the point to which the spring returns, okay, it's uh, it's sensitive. Now if you decrease that uh, value, the exponential value, uh, from 0 to minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, what you're in fact doing is you're making the output of the stick or wheel less sensitive around the center point. Uh, so we can keep going, we can keep decreasing that value all the way down to minus 100 and that will make it progressively more and more uh, insensitive around the center point. If we increase that value from minus 20 to minus 10 to 0 to plus 10 to plus 20 all the way up to plus 100 we're going to make it more sensitive around the center point. Uh, reverse steering works uh, if you if we were to go uh, out to a track and we try to turn a right hand corner by turning right uh, and the car turns left that will tell us that our servo for our steering needs reversing and we come back to this control options screen and we click on reverse steering setting it to on uh, and that would give us the correct uh, um, that would give us the correct output of steering for what we wanted it to do which is turn right uh, for throttle and brake input then again throttle and brake is a measure of how sensitive the the uh, trigger or the uh, throttle stick is around the center point okay the point to which the spring returns so if we decrease that uh, exponential setting to uh, minus 10 minus 20 minus 30 uh, we're going to make it less sensitive and if we uh, increase it to 10 20 30 plus 40 percent it's going to make it more sensitive around the center point uh, for reversing throttle, if we were to go to a track, uh, put the throttle on and expect to go forwards and then we went backwards, that would tell us that our throttle needs reversing. Uh, we come back to this control option screen, press reverse throttle, setting it to on, and then we would go uh, forwards when we wanted to go forwards and backwards when we wanted to go backwards. Okay, uh, if you have a, a transmitter that uh, doesn't have the facility for changing your exponential on the transmitter, then you're going to have to be using uh, this control option screen to set your exponential settings uh, for the reasons I've, uh, I've just gone into. Uh, if you do have a, a transmitter like mine uh, that has the ability to uh, set your uh, exponentials on the transmitter then what I'd suggest is I'd suggest turning your uh, steering exponential to zero clicking on OK to, uh, to, uh, to apply that change and then changing your transmitter itself uh, to uh, to have that minus 20 uh, that minus 20 setting on it okay that keeps all your settings for your uh, transmitter on the transmitter itself that's if you've got the ability to do that okay that wraps it up for this video then I hope it's been educational I hope it's helped you realize uh, how you go about setting your transmitter up uh, how you go about setting your computer up to, uh, to play VRC and how you go about calibrating your controller once it's all plugged in. Uh, hope you have many uh, hours of enjoyment playing VRC just like I have and uh, I hope to see you on track uh, and online very soon. Bye!